Okay, so learning objective five is to look at labor demand and business cycles. And this is really going to be the key driver that we examine for explanation of what is driving business cycles. So what causes business cycles to happen? Um, we're going to start and explain this pretty much exclusively via the labor market. That's going to be the main driver. So what causes business cycles? is ultimately going to be a decrease in labor demand. And so that's going to make you know a fair amount of sense. So if I'm going to start here with our labor market, so we have the quantity of labor in workers or hours um, on the horizontal axis. And we have the wage uh, on the vertical axis. And so we had derived before labor supply that has this vertical part here that uh, will play a role here when we talk about expansions. And the vertical part there happens when we hit the total amount of potential workers. Right, so at some point uh, there's nobody else left that can join the labor force uh, to work. And so when we hit that point, no matter how high the wage goes, um, the total quantity of labor isn't going to change. Then, in labor supply, then we had labor demand that was downward sloping. And where those two things met... told me equilibrium in the labor market, both in terms of employment and the wage. Okay, and so now what's gonna be important for us is to try to recall what it is that determine labor demand. So what's gonna happen in a recession is that labor demand is going to decrease. And that is going to decrease the quantity of labor that we use. Employment is going to go down. So labor demand decreases. Employment goes down. And I can then kind of draw another graph here. So if I drew labor and Y, which is real GDP, or our output, it would be a function that looks like that. The more labor that we use, the higher is our real GDP, and the less labor we use, the lower is our real GDP. So if I took our initial L, I could find our real GDP there, using what we call as our production function. This is real GDP, is some function of our capital and our labor. Um, and so when I changed the amount of labor, when labor demand decreased, the total amount of employment went down, and that's going to cause real GDP to go down. Those are exactly the two features of a recession that we saw. Employment goes down, and when employment goes down, that means we're going to produce less stuff. So fewer people are working, we're producing less stuff. Um, and so that is exactly what a recession looks like. So that's a pretty sensible way to think about um, what is going to cause recessions. So what we're going to do next um, is to try to understand what it is that shifts labor demand. And then once I understand that, we'll think about some other features that may make recessions uh, worse or easier. And that will be uh, in learning objective six.